Hello YouTube friends. You're looking at a picture of a big mud flat in the south of Cumbria. Big, big flat expanse of um, sea here. Uh, a very flat land at the bottom of uh, the Lake District. And I was on my way to see the long arm quilter in Cumbria, Kath, who very kindly uh, said that I could go and visit her in her workshop uh, to talk about uh, quilting the um, pink and red scrappy quilt. So um, here I am. I arrived at her workshop. She was very, very kind. I'm sure I annoyed her enormously. <laughs> and she showed me the quilt that she was working on, uh, which was this absolutely awesome quilt from a customer up in Scotland. And uh, she talked about it a bit and I've put some subtitles on because it's really hard to hear over the noise of the long arm quilter. So um, she's got a fantastic setup here with some really uh, exquisite machinery. So we'll listen to it now for a little minute. The four points of the square. Mm -hmm. Then we fitted the block into that. Yeah. Okay, and now we're going to stitch it out. Stand up. Oh, let me see that. You see. So the cross is where the needle is at the moment. Oh, how clever. Okay. I'll get on the non business side. Absolutely awesome. lady has a very um, strong design ideas for her kids right. and she wanted these particular styles which are digital designs from the American quilt of Harry Porter. Okay. And okay. it's a style known as graffiti quilting. Okay. So this is what she wanted on the 16 block being repeated across this quilt. Okay. Randomly. Oh okay. And then we've got the frames and place over. This is going to take you days. It will take over a week. I'm just going to insert this little bit in here. I'm back home now. Cats are very happy to have me home. Uh, but I just wanted to mention uh, the eagle-eyed among you and the people who perhaps know uh, this quilt that I'm showing you here that Kath was quilting. It's this. It's Jen Kingwell's My Small World, but it's the bigger version of that quilt. I have this, uh, this book here, and it's actually in one of the drawers over there. So when we do a draw tidy up and we get to this drawer, we will find this quilt. But I looked at it and I thought, I recognise those patterns, but it's been scaled up to make the ver uh, it's a bigger version. You can see uh, on the bit that we've just looked at. And what I'm going to do, uh, because it was very noisy uh, of course it was. The machine's a noisy thing. Uh, I'm going to put a bit on the end of this video so that you can watch Kath quilting uh, with a bit of music over the top uh, so that you can see what she's doing. And so if you know this quilt, this is an Australian designer called Jen Kingwell. She makes some beautiful quilt designs. And I bought this years ago thinking I might do it. But the pieces were too little and fiddly. But when I saw this larger one, made me think about it again. <laughs> Add it to the very long list of things I might do. But I wanted to just put this little bit in here now that I'm home so that we could have that reference to what that quilt is that casts quilting. We're now going to look at my quilt because I'd taken my pink and red scra scrappy quilt for her to look at with a view to quilting that on the machine. We'll get back now. 
Here's the red and pink scrappy quilt then with the white sashing and the red cornerstones. And I left this with Kath. We looked at a few of the different designs that she might use. And then uh, I said, I'm going to leave it up to you, Kath. You do whatever you like with it. Because uh, I know having seen her working on that fantastic quilt, whatever she does, whatever pantogram she chooses, whatever all over design she chooses, I think it'll be perfect for the quilt. And I won't mind in the slightest. So that was a fantastic trip to the Long Arm Quilter. Kath was very patient with me. And so I'm going to leave you now with her quilting.
Thank you.